Hey guys, welcome back to Train Sim TV. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest release from Rivet Games. It is the Suburban Glasgow Airdrie Extension. This is a nine mile extension of the um, Suburban Glasgow route. However, it does come in a separate route itself uh, in your actual menu. So it doesn't actually just extend onto the original route, it adds another one into the actual route list. Uh, there must be a reason why I'm at. It is a bit odd, but is what it is um this is nine miles of extension with eight stations and two it does actually come with two trains so for me the trains don't really matter i've already got them so they're basically the same trains i've had before um in that respect it's good for people coming into the ts sort of late on that may not have these trains so um it, it's good for some things for me but not so much for me but other people it'd be quite good for so i'm not going to dwell too much on that as such but i will go through what it does come with anyway um we're going to be taking a drive of one of the scenarios that comes with the route however i have slightly modified it um i've removed um the noisy class 320 that comes with the route i've actually put in the ap version um just for better sounds and, and all that jazz uh, and I'm also putting the AP weather onto the route itself just uh, for a better um, sky. <laughs> I couldn't figure the word for that then. But yeah, better skies basically. And then we're going to take this so far. I'm not going to go all the way because it's like a 55 minutes now and it goes all the way through to Mungai. We'll take it um, probably up to like sort of Glasgow lower level or something like that. And then we'll probably uh, leave it there. But yeah, I'm going to take a drive from here at Airdrie. So without me waffling on too much, we'll get into the train, get set up, and uh, we'll go through bits and pieces and show you the route map, what comes and all this lot. So uh, welcome to the weekend service from Edinburgh Waverley to Mungai. Today you're going to pick up the train at Airdrie and then take some weekend shoppers into the central Glasgow and uh, beyond. Open the doors and allow the passengers to board. And it's a 10.27 departure. Okie dokie. So you might remember that Mark did um, the video for the original Suburban Glasgow route um, using that very noisy 320 and yeah, it, it, I could not have done that for this again. Would not have brought myself to do that. What on earth that done? Indicated dimmer lights, no. But I need to go to the back, just to tell that some. Uh, put our destination on there. We're going on double oh oh four. Um, I can't do anything with the slider because of uh, it's a big car. Can't do that. Um, so quick one is uh, if you do have the AP signaling EP, it actually works on this as well because these are UK Pro signals. That's cool. Uh, route map itself, so we're starting here. You can uh, you can get disabled. <laughs> Not listening to that thing go off. I'm talking. So yeah, route map. Disregard him to the right hand side for a moment. So we're down here at Airdrie. We're going to continue this direction. We've got Coat Dyke, um, Coat Bridge, Sunny Side. You've then also got down here, you've got Coatbridge Central, but although they're not really included on the route, you're just going to go past them, because I don't think there'll be really much there to see. Got the yard as well. So you could probably lob a bit of air in there if you wanted to. Uh, passengers now boarding the train, please proceed to 1027. Yeah, stop is Coatbridge Sunnyside. So we're actually stopping at all stations, but also. And I'm just going to mute, uh, not mute, but pause it. You've got Blair Hill. Um, what else have we got? Uh, we have also got Easter House here. Uh, we've also got Garrow Hill. Uh, we've also then got Pantine. And then we join onto the existing route, which is at Belgrove. So the original uh, route that we had for the first version uh, took off to the left hand side and continued up around to Glasgow, um, Queen Street, basically in like, East Fields and that. So yeah, we'll drive that section. And probably take it into the tunnel, maybe to the first station in the tunnel. We'll see how we get on uh, time-wise and that. But yeah, that's what you get. Now, that's that. So then we have all this to the right-hand side here. Now, this makes me wonder, are we going to see another extension in the near future? Because there's a lot of track there. You wouldn't add all that track if you weren't going to extend. I would, If it was obviously just an extension, you would have probably cut it off just after that poor little drum galloc. 
But they've added all this lot, and this actually continues all the way over uh, past Bathgate and up to um, Livingston North. So extension potential there as well. I can't see that just being left in there for no reason. So I think there'll be another extension coming down the line. Be nice. Uh, fingers crossed. I hope, 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 hope. Along with many other people, I've seen this in uh, on Facebook and stuff. A three, three, four. Please, can we get a three, three, four? A big. I think a big, big trick been missed here uh, with a three, three, four. Rather than bringing the three twenty each time, um, not this one. This is uh, the AP one, but the three twenty it comes with. I think a big mistake. I think. I think. A, a, I think it's a mistake not to add one really because it's something that uses this route. I know the the AP slash goo or goo at least. Uh, I presume it's gonna go for AP, but um, the the three one eight that comes with three one seven volume two, that will be useful on this route <clears throat> as well. So there is trains coming as well, so at least we won't have to just endure this uh, three twenty uh, all the way. Anyway, waffling done. Let's get moving. He says, <clears throat> I've not shut my doors. <laughs> I forget it's got, uh, not guarded. There we go. <clears throat> now, I seem to recall on the original freeware suburban Glasgow route, I tried doing a video from the station and I had loads of issues. I had terrain going under the ground and all sorts. And it dumped. But now we have proper scenery. Although I've just noticed there's a bit of an issue there. So he's moving back and re reassembling. Straight into a downhill gradient. Um, <clears throat> whilst the train's there, sorry, I'm just going to quickly... I should have looked around here to be fair because I did actually uh, want to show this. Uh, it comes with a custom station. Uh, not got custom platforms, but there is a custom um, station bridge, which is quite cool. So at least we've got some kit, uh, not not got kit bashed here. <laughs> we've actually got some uh, custom bits and bobs going on there. We've also got a little building as well. Cool. Everyone's favourite chips. A little bit low res on the uh, timetable side. That would be nice if we had some higher res detail stuff there. But... Yeah. <clears throat> That's cool. I think that's meant to be a knockoff off um, Aldi. No, <laughs> Laldi. The Daily Rag. <clears throat> I like this. It, it, it might not be much here, but this is... A, I, like, I do like street signage. Uh, we did street signs on um, Harrog Loop, and they do make uh, a, a good difference. You know, if you sit there, you've got a train going past, and you've got that street sign. I think it makes it look really cool. So, yeah, nice. I like it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, I can't remember what the original scenery looked like. I mean, it won't have changed massively. Um, some stuff will have been swapped around for newer bits and pieces, but um, like trees and stuff like that. Obviously, new OH lead because it's been re OH lead um, to the same standards as um, the last release. But uh, yeah, that looks good. Interesting, it goes down. Difference in grain is weird. But no, yeah, it's uh, the scenery itself does look good. It's not there's nothing wrong with scenery. I mean, I see people say oh, it's Kuju City. I mean, yeah, there is some bits of old Kuju in there, but it is what it is. Uh, it's it's been done well at the end of the day. Um, it's not a, it's not a rubbish looking route. The Burn Glasgow isn't rubbish. There's a few bits and pieces which you could wish for would have better choices, but it doesn't look bad at all. It's a nice it's a nice looking route. I always enjoy playing the route, so all's good. I'm more to the point, I'm just glad that I've got a suburban Glasgow it's a lot more stable than the freeware one, so get a thumbs up from me. I'm gonna shut that window. A bit noisy. It's a bit drafty. Um little things really. It's just little things that I would have probably done differently myself or requested differently. Is maybe like a custom bridge for that. Rather than it being kit bashed. Um could have done a bit better than that. Basically, so I think it's just a reskin Kuju Gerda bridge that is. I think the original was like a sort of bluish red. 
just things like that really just these low low res texture blocks we could make, maybe look for a better res texture block just little things like that it's, it's not bad it's just uh, there could have been little improvements in that sort of set of things just little bits like that really just pushing the road sure it's been moved over that's not too bad i mean it's in the road but at least the cars can get through <clears throat> It is our usual uh, culprit of uh, Mark's favourite viaducts, however, but uh, it's not that bad. We can get past that. We're not actually stopping here, so we're going to we'll watch the train go through here. I have to put the destination on the front. It's on the front. I'll go and do that in a second. Oh, there's a bit of a towel stutter there. What's going on here? Oh, God, that was a, that was a big towel hang. Nice elevated trap there. So until I got this route, I didn't actually know where it was or what the extension was, where it took you to. <laughs> so I've only learned it as soon as I installed it. This is quite cool coming to here. I was cutting. I mean, I'm speeding. So this is Coatbridge, Bridge, Sunnyside. Alright, it's looking good. That's a custom. It's a nice station. Old canopy. Don't think that bridge is custom. It looks like it's been kit bash, but it doesn't look bad. To be perfect, I could be wrong actually. No, that doesn't look like kit bash. Just on some of these are. No, it's not kit bashed. I just look, look. I think, I think it's a bit of a mixture. You know, I don't, I don't know. That's hard to tell. Is it kit bashed? Yeah, it's kit bashed. I've just seen a gap. That looks custom though. That was quite cool. Maybe there's been some bits made for it. I don't know. But passing that boarding, please proceed at ten thirty one. Uh, next up will be Shittleston. I must have missed that station when I flew, uh, flew through. Right, let's have a quick look around here because I like this station. It's cool. Very nice. A little bit low res on bottom that side of thing, but no, the station itself is uh, quite nice, isn't it? Maybe we could have done with some doors or windows on the back of it, potentially, but maybe it is actually right. It's a tall door. Um, no, where does that go? That joins up with... So that would be where it continues towards Moss End, I think. Maybe we'll see that down in the future. That's the freight line terminal. Again, nothing really there at the minute. Might see that in the future. Who knows? Who knows? What on earth is this place in here? Interesting. Well sided. Not at all bad, does it? It's not bad at all. Summerley Heritage Centre, that must be black places there. It's cool. Right, onwards, Shettleston.
as you can see there, it's uh, compatible with the AP signal enhancements. I didn't show me destinations at the back. <clears throat> so, uh, the suburban Glasgow Airdrie extension route brings an additional nine miles, eight stations, and two more locomotives to the popular suburban Glasgow Northwest route add on. You must obviously own the suburban Glasgow, however, though, make sure you do own it before you uh, purchase this uh, to actually play the route. So, uh, about this content, uh, embark on more journeys through the densely packed railways of suburban Glasgow with a new extension to Airdrie, the classic terminus on the North Clyde Line, in this new expansion for Train Simulator Classic. Um, operate the night shift with a famed Caledonian sleeper, wearing the latest branding of Mark twos and mark three coaches haul snoozing passengers on their way uh, on their long di distance journeys uh, bound for the highlands using the class 67 locomotive also take on freight journeys and duties with the br class 66 fitting between the passenger schedule and not causing a fuss for those commuters also with the br class 320 from suburban glasgow northwest experience longer passenger service uh, beyond belgrove further out into the Glaswegian commuter towns and border the outskirts of the city. Authentic stations at Shettleston, Easterhouse, Coatbridge and more await. Wasn't really much to say at that station, to be fair. Quite a basic one. Quite a distance, actually, to Shettleston. It's uh, still 4.2 miles. Um, so, yeah, it comes with uh, a selection of scenarios. Highland Dawn, the Helensburg Rattler. Always look on the sunny side of life. A spring hill in my step, which is this scenario. However, I have slightly modified it. Um, and it's got slightly different weather as well. And then also Made in Munkland. So, the key features, once again, so 9 miles of extension, adding the line to Airdrie. 8 new stations and detailed scenery throughout. It includes the Class 66 and 67 in EWS livery. Also includes Mark 2E's TFO and BFO. And Mark 3 SLEP coaches in Caledonia Sleep livery. Also includes a PCA cement tank wagon. 5 career scenarios and quick drive compatible. Download size if you wish to... Uh, care for that is 416.6 megabyte. Oh, bridge abutments. There must be an old line that went across. This is looking cool. I like this. Not bad at all, to be fair. See you guys, it's nice. Yeah, of course it's going to be, um, a lot of it will be from the original route. Um, a lot of stuff was updated or swapped to different assets as well, though, for it to obviously uh, be made into payware content. To be a bit more of a standard library of assets. <clears throat> but it's nice, it looks nice in the eye. It's not, I have no issues with the scenery detail. And also, is that a sign? Oh, there, there, I'm loving this. Oh, that's nice. Nice detail again. So it's got the uh, the motorway sign, so Edinburgh M8, M73 to Carlisle, A69 to Cutbridge. That sort of detail, I like that. And not many routes do that. I mean, I said before we did it on Harrogate Loop, but that's freeware. But payware routes, you don't really ever see that sort of detail. So nice. I like it. It's different. But um, Ian McKay um, has done the route again um, as per the others so he, he's seen the detail there and uh, he's requested that sort of stuff to be made which is cool I'm liking this again this is just a kit bash but no it looks good we've got here world auction it's just little details like that i just think add a little bit of an extra dimension to the route and just a bit of signage just adds a bit more along the way and i can get beyond i can get behind that
Got the little train. That's off TSW, that as well. Cool. That's Easter House. So one thing I haven't mentioned yet is the price of the route. So now this is a little bit. I want to be careful what, I've, what I sort of say here, but uh, so basically the route itself is um, fourteen ninety nine for nine miles. It is. It depends the way you look at it. I mean, for me, I think it is a little bit pricey for what you get, but I've already got the trains. So really, for me, it's it is what it is. But I will get onto my other side of things in a minute. Um, for new people, it's not bad at all, really. I mean, you're getting extra stuff, you're getting trains that you might not have had. Um, and it opens up more of the route, of course. Um, there is a discount till the 24th of February, which is a 14% discount, which makes it £12.89, so it's not so bad. However, for me, the icing on the cake, this is, um, I had a £10 Steam Wallet voucher, so it cost £2.89 for me. So I'm not going to argue, really, about the price, because it cost me next to nothing. Um, I had a Steam voucher off my birthday, so... Uh, thanks to my brother so I saved it for a rainy day and the rainy day came where this came out I thought well I might as well put it towards that and pay £2.89 so it's cost me £2.89 so for me really I can't grumble at the price that I paid for it but I mean other people probably will have a grumble and I have seen people grumble um, it is a little bit pricey for 9 miles of route um, I do agree um, but it is what it is at the end of the day. if you're going to buy it you're going to buy it if not then don't maybe wait for a sale for this one um, I mean, little things like this, really, I would expect better. Sure, there's, there must be some hangers or something. It can't just look like that. I could be totally wrong, and it could be, but it just doesn't look finished. Sure, there should be some hangers. Can't see why it's just crossing each other like that. They end up snagging and ripping it apart. Only for a few bits there, but maybe it is like that. It just looks a bit not like that, really, for me. But yeah, I'd have to have a look. If someone can actually tell me it does look like that, then I'll I'll, I'll eat me on words. <laughs> uh, old line there coming over the back. What on earth is this place? Something used to be here. <laughs> Not so much now. Obviously, the track's been severed. So, we aren't sure coming into the next station. I do need to be slowing down. Overall, though, again, yeah, nice scenery. I like it. No quarrels about the scenery, really. It, uh, it does look nice. Again, it's this little bit here. Just looks... That bit to me just looks Kuju. How the Kuju I actually mailed once looked. Without like, the, the extra detail. It just feels to me like it's missing the hangers. Attaching from the actual um, portal to the contact wire. I'm going to sort that destination out because it's triggering me. Station builds are nice, these little bits they've added on. I mean, they are um, original platforms from other bits of the library. I don't like these signs. These signs at the end of the platform, I, I don't like. They just don't look right to me. Unless they are like that in, in Scotland, but they just look odd. I don't know. There's something about them I just don't like. <laughs> right, I want to do that destination, don't I? Before I upset myself and not do it again. I've done it. I can now live happy. That's got to be Tesco, um, Tesco Extra or something. <laughs> Tesco Massive. There's just little bits, there's little, little things that could have been done a bit better here. Maybe have a new wall. Instead of using that old Kuju relic, 
It's just little things just to make things stand out a bit more. I mean, that look, this is all kitbash. This isn't all custom. These walls have been kitbash. So maybe a, a texture that matches more for that um, would have probably looked better than that. Just little things. I mean, you don't have to have a whole custom, like, a custom asset for every single bridge. Um, you can still kitbash things with just some better bits and pieces. Floating signs down a bit of a gap. Hope those will be fixed. Um, a little bit bare out here. A bit start. That green's a little bit bright. But overall, it's still not bad. Plenty of detail. It goes for a good extensive uh, way away from the track as well. It runs really well. No issues at all with uh, how it's running. Maybe I'd like to have seen a better footbridge. This is the same footbridge we've seen along most of the route originally. I mean, I see some different bridges. Just little bits. <clears throat> I probably sound like I'm nitpicking here, really. I'm, I'm not. And I don't hate the route. I like the route. It's actually quite. I'm, I am actually enjoying it, to be fair. Honestly, I'm. I've only seen a couple of little bits out of line in terms of the scenery, really. Cool. Little walkway. Nice car parks. Some of these are car park lofts or something, or they've been done with like a decal or something. Right, next stop is car time. So as well, link will be in the description for the route. Um, it'll just be to the extension, so please do note that you will have to go and look for the um, other bit, the original part. Oh, the station literally around the corner. It's only point six of a mile. But it does open up longer services as well, so you can actually go all the way through to Mungai, which is an hour. I mean, mileage wise, how far is it? It's only 12 miles, but it's a lot of stop and start, so it does give you quite a lot to do. A little issue there with the turn wire. Get broken. I may end up missing a station here. Can't get it to stop. Theory may have totally dropped a ball there. Jesus. I was getting a bit carried away. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. No. <laughs> Theory me. Sorry. Sorry you all. Sorry team. I've uh, I've I've dropped the ball there. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I'll just stop here for a second, just give it a minute. How time's it meant to leave here? 44. I'll give it a second. I'll, I'll go at 44. So we'll keep on time, basically. We'll start driving past trains that aren't moving. I feel. I don't. Yeah. No, that's, that's kit bashed. Is that bits and pieces made for them that actually work with a kit bash, like these railings and stuff? I mean, they are clicking a bit. I suppose a good way for Keith Rivet in TS Classic um, releases as well, even though while they're doing TSW. Like, so you've got like contract work, like so Ian does these uh, extensions and stuff for this route. Keeps things uh, going. Keeps it alive. Oh, it'll go. I'll stop at Belgrove. That was actually the last station. On the extension. No, <laughs> missed it. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, Rovers. It's 
nice wall. They've had some new walls made by lots of it. A nice drink shop. Dude, we need a screenshot. Better get one, aren't I? I can't believe I missed that station. <laughs> well, I can actually, to be fair. What there? It's that new section. Oh, there's an issue with that. There's a texture issue there. There are neutral sections. They look like I've got a texture of an Adobe restaurant. Definitely something not quite right there with them. Yeah, it's all warped. So again with this, probably could have had a, a nice custom in there. Um, the, the, these sort of bigger grand looking bridges, it's just little bits like that would have been nice to have uh, custom in. Now, I don't know if there's any anything been updated on the existing route on this. Any anything have been like changed or not? I'm probably gonna say probably not. This is where we join on to the existing uh, part of the route now. On, you can stop. <laughs> Christ, poor form for driving tonight. So yeah, um, so that's obviously we've, we've come off the new section now. So we're now onto the existing part. So thoughts on it really? The route itself's nice. Um, the the scenery is nice and all that. The the, the details lovely. Um, the trains. I haven't seen the trains. Uh, I can't see them being anything really special compared to what we've seen before. They'll probably just be the exact same stuff that's already available. Um, I would have thought. Um, I can't see any new sounds or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's not bad for people that haven't got them before. Gives them some new bits and pieces. So yeah, for newer people to TS, the full package I would say is pretty cool. To be fair. Um, I just think the price is still a bit ex on the high side, really, for what it for what they are and bits and pieces that trains we've seen for many many years. Um, I'm not too sure. I presume that the coaches are maybe ones that came with 68, uh, and they've had a reskin. Uh, Mark threes, I'm not sure where they came from. They probably must have come from uh, the 67 pack. I think there was actually some sleepers with the 67 packs. So they must have been the same ones, just been reskin um, on that front. For me, I, I'm glad I paid what I did. I probably wouldn't have paid full price if um, I didn't have the voucher. I probably would have waited for maybe a sale. Um, that's not to be nasty or out like that. I just I don't think I'd have paid fifteen pound for nine miles of uh, extension. To be perfectly fair, um, it depends how it sits. We really. I mean, I'm happy I've got it, and I'm happy I paid what I paid for it. I've I've still paid really. I paid twelve twelve pound eighty nine, but. Out of my own pocket was two pound eighty nine with the voucher, so win win. Um, make of it what you will. I mean, you've seen what it is, and you can decide for yourselves. Uh, maybe it is one for a sale for you guys. 
probably in your wish list. It may you may see it on sale in the near future. Um, grab it if you want it right now. It's one of them at the end of the day. You can make the choice for yourself. But it adds a little extra on, onto the route. And I do hope we uh, do see some extensions elsewhere. I mean, we've got the track to Livingston there. Hopefully that does come. And I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope we do get to see a free free four one day. Missing the trick if we don't. The amount of people that have asked for it. It's like, it'd be like printing cash. <laughs> Making one of them. But I, I don't, I, I don't, don't recommend it. I do, I do recommend it. It's a nice route. It's just short. <laughs> it's just a short extension. I'm not getting to the pound per mile. Whatever it is, how much it is per mile either. I'm not getting to that wobble. Some people love doing that sort of stuff, but I'm not doing that because I know it, it takes time to make routes and stuff like that. It's not. It doesn't just go into how much per mile. It goes in how how long it's taken to do things. You've got to think of the cost of making the assets and stuff like that as well. You, you've got to look further into it at the end of the day. They've got to make a return on it at the end of the day. So we'll take it to the next station and we'll wrap things up there, I think. But no, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and I hope it makes you decide what you want out of it at the end of the day if you want to extend your route or not. If you do go for it, please don't... Uh... We get to stop at stations. <laughs> Off Mount to Queen Street. I do like the Queen Street station. All the, these these underground stations, I think, are absolutely fantastic. We'll do, we'll uh, let the passengers on and uh, get the doors shut and we'll watch the train go up into the tunnel and uh, that'll be the end of the video. But no, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and all that jazz. Uh, hit your notification bell for future videos. Um, from ourselves. Twitch is usually Fridays and Sundays. Um, after this video goes out, just make sure you don't come on uh, on the Sunday after. <laughs> if you're watching it like, the same day this video goes out, because that, that Sunday I won't be able Obviously, moving forward, it usually is um, Fridays and Sundays. Keep your eye on Facebook and uh, the YouTube community section. I, I do post on there um, as and when we're going to be uh, live, so you can catch us on that. But a massive thanks once again, guys. I'm going to bow out here. We'll let the train go off into the distance. Catch you later. Enjoy, and again, thank you very much, and bye for now.